All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. And I'm Tasha. And welcome to the Adventures of TNT. TNT. Now, we are back doing some more uh, Family Guy, in which this is a dark humor compilation. Now, this is your favorite type of humor. Yes, exactly. I like dark humor. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it, because we know this is going to be really funny. Maybe. Side hotline. I, I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just, I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? <laughs> you can count on me. <laughs> Same way Nash counted on me. The volume is really low. Prices. All right, I'm going to need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronaut's kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we, we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. For years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's. Peter, are those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember. Oh. Stick together like that two-headed <laughs> girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste oh. it and who wants to smell it? Oh. I'm tired of living with morons. Maybe <laughs> I tried to open that lemonade stand with Chris. All right, that'll be 10 cents. Chris, Paul You know those girls, it's, it's a real... They're, um, I, I know. I forget what they call them, but the, yeah, they. <laughs> <laughs> Only men would think of something like that. Jeez. Yeah, because they both got like two heads, and then it's like <laughs> I, I, I get it. <laughs> they're sharing like the same boyfriend. <laughs> oh you man! Done? No, I'm just I was. <laughs> Like, while you're doing it, one of them's watching it, the other one's... <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. This lemonade. I can't! The lemonade tricked me and got away! Lemons are God's children! We gotta find what? out where that party is and get Meg out of there! Yeah, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. <laughs> Don't be afraid to be honest with a girl and show her who you are. Wow. Thanks, Lois. That's the second best advice anyone's ever given me. I don't know, man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ sounds weird. So just go with age. <laughs> yeah. Well, for the next 72 hours, I'm going to be harder to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? <laughs> Mittens. Oh, she's busy with a blood drive. Maybe I can help. How about I read you this book? It's called Apathetic George. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him to mate, but he lost interest in that, too. Twenty years and millions of dollars in zoo revenue later, he died. <laughs> okay, I've had enough. <laughs> the real story. Right. This one. <laughs> real story. Hey, story. looking at you pretty normal, huh? No! Ah, fudge. Wait, I know! <laughs> I'll figure this out. The, the pieces are all there. I, I'll go home and figure this out. At least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. And now PBS presents <laughs> Albino Children Are Normal. Oh so, <laughs> with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes. The moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. That's what all the star athletes do. Ugh, I'm so sick of all the special treatment they get, even during school shootings. Kevlar vest. Kevlar vest. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll oh, be a starter next God. year. <laughs> then next year, you can have a vest. Oh, this is trespassing God. and it's against the law. Maybe Yikes. we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. Hey, you don't ask the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the oh. special Hunger Games. I'm Andy. I love you, Andy. Come on, guys. <laughs> this is Kevin's first birthday since he came home from Iraq. Terrible. Why does Kevin always sit at the bus stop but never gets on a bus? Please don't bring that up. Don't bring anything he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon nap. Mom, it's my birthday and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. Uh, you're gonna start Ooh. dating soon. He's a Probably good soldier. to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. 
Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> oh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is what you are, and this is what I am. It's Ugh. been three weeks, and you haven't had a single job lead. Well, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Oh. Stella, I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the death games. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this has been a 12-minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12-year-old girl, too. My name's Jenny. Wanna come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12-year-old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. <laughs> Look at this note I sent off. Dear Pakistan, <laughs> up yours. Now, India. You missing, the, you missing this one, babe. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you gotta rewind this right, one. No, no, when you laugh, right. you gotta pause. Right, well, I wanna right, see it. All right. <laughs> Don't go to Hell no. <laughs> Look at this note I sent off. Dear Pakistan. Up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. <laughs> they did not need much. Boy, what a great day for a baseball game. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. Oh! All right, I got the guy. I got the guy. <laughs> oh, thank God. I really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Ah, everybody makes mistakes, even doctors. Doctors. Oh! You forgot to I say. I forgot to say clear. I love that piece you did on the invention of the guillotine. Oh, thank you. You know, half the time those things didn't really work. How was it, honey? Oh, oh they couldn't finish. Oh, really? Yeah, I gotta go back tomorrow. Oh, well, I made cabbage for dinner. Yeah, that would be oh, the man. ending to this day. What you know that? what? Uh, I, I did rec recall like, hearing that um, if you had to, you know, be executed, you always wanted to be the first one to be executed. Because the longer the executions went, the duller the blade oh, got. Oh, wow. Yeah, and Yikes. so if you were, like, fifth in line and the blade was really dull, they probably had to drop it on your head oh, multiple gosh. times to sever it. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Anyway. Well, here's what happened when we fertilized an egg from Shelley Duvall with a sperm from James Blunt. <laughs> here's Hillary Swank and Gary Busey. Florence Griffith Joyner and Stephen Hawking. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. I got more funny ones. I got Tina Fey and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I think we're fine. A lot of mm -hmm. face stuff going on in that one. <laughs> like people in massive debt. Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot uh, this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. <laughs> I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. <laughs> Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Hey, thank you, Tree Jesus. Griffins have a long history of figuring stuff out, like my great grandfather. Oh, man. Church credit, yeah. yeah. Good church credit. Oh, for that was hilarious. Father, who invented the first marital aid? This gives me an idea. 
She's dead. What an idiot to have been able to rake this rake to that rake. Peter, that's nothing. Oh, is it? I died! I died! Joe, what are you doing up there? Enjoying heaven, Bonnie. Come join me. There's a gun in my nightstand. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! Oh. Hey! This. Pull the man his lemonade. I can't! What happened? The lemonade tricked me it's, and got away! It's weird. Yeah, it's your children! Back. All right, there not we go. Worth it. Hold hey! On. This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. <laughs> oh, oh! I forgot to make shit. it look like an accident. You look nice, God, so yeah. I'll blow my burps the other way. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. That's true. They give say me most liberty wars have started or give because me of religion. death. Oh. Babe, if you're going to oh. talk through that it, you got to pause it because I'm, I'm missing stuff. Oh. You do the freak. <laughs> give me liberty or give me death. Oh. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, <laughs> Ryan. All right, we'll come to dinner. But I want you to know I'm very skeptical about this whole thing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, hey, listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. I took one step outside the resort. Mm. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Oh. Meow. I guess that's... Yeah, I guess that's I guess it. That's... <laughs> well, that was funny. Uh, it, so... it seems like every time we do Family Guy... Uh, react or Family Guy commentary, or every time we do Family Guy reactions, they're they're incredibly hilarious. Now I know that this was a little darker than what you're used to with Family Guy. What do you think? Um, some parts were funny. Some were funny, and I felt guilty about laughing. Yeah. And, and it's like I shouldn't be laughing at right. this. Right, but you know that's. The whole thing behind dark humor, a mm -hmm. lot of times it is dark, and it, sometimes it does make you feel guilty yeah. about laughing uh, about it. But I know with shows like South Park, they really, really do push the envelope when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, but South Park is just funnier to me, and it's so funny, I don't even think about being guilty about mm. laughing. That's how funny it is Dang. to me. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Absolutely. And send us some more suggestions for some compilations. Yeah, was, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we'd we be looking forward to checking out some more Family Guy. So as always, subscribe to the channel, like this video. We'll see you guys next time. Ta -ta. Peace.